everybody and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well this video is part two of my huge USA makeup haul doesn't matter how much makeup I have you can never keep a beauty junkie away from buying more products so yeah I'm just going to jump right into it disclaimer as well as in my previous video I'm not making this video to brag or to show off this is just purely for those interested in seeing what makeup that I bought and you know got from the USA and yeah I know I love videos like this so if you guys don't really like watching videos like this then you know feel free by all means to click out um, but yeah if you guys do enjoy these videos I hope you guys enjoyed this one okay so I've got my big bag full of makeup products so I am um, I don't even know where to start with but I think I'll start with my hourglass products so I am going to show you guys this little bag now another disclaimer these products from hourglass were gifted to me when I visited their flagship store but pretty much everything else in this video I bought myself um, so in this little bag is something very special so they actually gave me um, their new bronzers which aren't released yet um, bronzers and black but um, I don't have the exact dates I they told me but I can't remember but I will leave the exact date of when these will be released down below so these are the new ambient strobe lighting blushes um, this one is the shade euphoric fusion this is what it looks like it's like a super pretty like creamy base shade but there's like like a mauve shade entwined into it. It's really pretty. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. Um, but that's what it looks like. I love the ambient lighting products. Um, I've always said they look like your own skin. They make you look like you're going from within. So if you guys are looking for super natural highlighters and blushes and stuff, I feel like Hourglass is the go-to brand because no other brand makes... Um, products like they do. And I'm not just saying that because they gave me products. Like I honestly mean like there is no other powder product that is like a hourglass product it's so different so unique and i feel like that's what sets them apart from everybody else um but the next blush is called brilliant nude and this is really pretty it's also like a beige color but it's also entwined with like browns in it it's super pretty and that is what that one looks like so that's two of them next to each other i don't even know if you can see because they're quite subtle but this one's a little bit more of a pink, which is the first one that I swatched. And then the second one is, you can tell, it's definitely more like a brownie. But I feel like if I mixed it in together, it would look more like a um, golden brown type color. The final one is called Iridescent Flash. And this one's like the creamy colors, but entwined with like a bright pink. It's super pretty. This is definitely a lot more of a brighter color. I'm super excited to try these out. I haven't had the chance to try any products just yet, but um, yeah, that is what it looks like. And then the other products are the bronzers, but this is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Diffused Bronze Light, and that is what that one looks like. Super pretty. Kind of reminds me of like milk chocolate entwined with like white chocolate. It looks really yummy actually. Um, but that one I will swatch up here. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. This would actually make a really pretty eyeshadow as well. Um, and then the second one is Nude Bronze Light. And I really, really like the look of this one. I feel like I would like this one a little bit more. But the, te the texture of the product is so velvety. So that is the shade Nude Bronze Light. And I feel like I like this one a little bit better. The next product is actually something that really fascinated me, and this is their mascara. Um, the wand is actually reusable. This is what it looks like. It's metal. It's a metal mascara wand. It makes me feel like I'm in Harry Potter because it looks like a wand. Well, God, I am Leviosa. No, but it's really cool. Um, that's what it looks like. It's super interesting. I feel like this would really separate your lashes with the grooves. I don't really know how it would apply mascara just yet, but they did give me the um, the lash primer, which is like a white primer for your lashes. I can just get it out. That is what it looks like. I haven't tried this out before, um, but super excited to. And then of course the actual mascara and it is just like a black mascara in the same tube as the white one but that is what it looks like and you just dip your mascara into it 
oh sorry your mascara went into it apply it with your lashes and then i think they said you clean this with like a um damp cloth or something i'm not too sure but um i'm sure it would say in the box as well but that was really cool but the next product is actually another primer and um I was talking to you guys about, obviously, in my previous video, I don't like primers, you guys know that, and I did get one from Urban Decay, which was stunning. It was super, super beautiful, super soft, super velvety, um, but this one's different to that one as well. This one is called the Primer Serum, um, and it's the hydrating anti-aging one, and this is what it looks like. It literally looks like an oil in a bottle, um, which you guys know. Oil for my desert skin is... Honestly, goals. Um, the minute something says oils or hydrating, it has me sold. I want to try it. Um, but this one is actually quite an oily, not oily, um, hydrating is a word to use. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It comes out um, quite clear and you see me rubbing it in. It also has a very velvety texture and adds like this luminosity to your skin. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's super beautiful, super luxurious, and it smells so beautiful. It smells like a um, like a calming oil or something, but very very nice. So I can't wait to try this out on my skin. Um, the next product is also like a lip primer, and this is the lip treatment oil. And I actually got this because I was talking to them about how this is actually um like one of Chloe Morello's favorite products. Like I only know about this product because of Chloe Morello. Um, so I'm super excited to try that out. Okay, so the next one is an eyeshadow palette and I fell in love with this only because um, one of the girls at the store, her name was Chanel and she actually had this amazing eye look on her eyes and um, basically I was like, whatever you're wearing, that, that, that's what I need. Um, and so she was wearing this eyeshadow palette and this is the Modernist palette in Infinity and it is just beautiful brown shades um, that you can mix together and that's like the sparkly one in it and then that's the dark one and then that's like I'm not even like pressing hard on them either so they're super pigmented and then the final palette from Hourglass is an ambient lighting palette and this is really cool because I got to custom pick the shades in this um, this is something that they do now where they custom create um, ambient lighting palettes. So I picked these three shades. So they're luminous light, mood light, and diffused light. And I don't actually own any of these shades in the amb ambient lighting like collection. Um, so it was really cool. Like, I picked colors that I don't already own. So this, um, I'll actually swatch them for you guys. Oh, they feel so velvety, I love it. Um, so that's what they look like. And then I'll just do it on my arm, just like that. Very soft, um, but very natural and um, really beautiful. They look so beautiful on the skin. While I was there, of course, I took a trip to Sephora. Doesn't matter how much makeup I have, I always have to go to Sephora no matter what country I'm in. So I bought a bunch of products that they actually don't sell here. Um, and things that I like, needed to restock on and stuff like that. So I don't even know where to start. This makes me so excited. You guys have no idea. Okay, so the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. Um, obviously, this is all over Instagram and stuff. And obviously, I had to try it. They don't sell it here. Um, I hate ordering things online because they just waiting for them to come in really annoys me But this is what the palette looks like. I'm sure you guys have all seen it um, I was really surprised by some of the shades actually. They're a lot more like Colorful than I thought like this one. I feel like in the camera it looks white, but it's actually got like a Sparkly like blue undertone, which is really interesting and this one's like a corally pink color And this one's like a little bit more of a pink, but then these three are a little bit more neutral So really fascinated and really excited to try this out. This is actually the first Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit that I own So I'm really super excited to try this out and then another Anastasia palette or product that I got was the Renaissance palette and I have been wanting this for so long. The colors just have my name written all over them. I don't know why I'd never got it before. 
But as I mentioned in my previous video, when it comes to eyeshadow, I love like my deep reds, my burgundies, my maroons, and you can see this palette has a lot of those shades mixed in with like the perfect transition shades and like this really beautiful like orange shade, which reminds me a little bit of Spike um, from Urban Decay. But I'm super, super excited to try this and create looks with this. I feel like I can create some really awesome looks with this palette. Alright, so I bought a couple of other Anastasia products as well. I bought ooh, a liquid lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood. I already own this, but I ran out of it and I've been meaning to restock. So I thought, well, I was it. Why not pick up another one? But this is what it looks like. It's like the perfect, perfect pinky nude shade. Um, I'll swatch that on the back of my hand for you guys. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Super stunning. Probably my favorite. Um, Anastasia liquid lipstick. I also bought another liquid lipstick um, by Anastasia and this one is in the shade Trust Issues and I just fell in love with the shade. It's um, kind of reminds me of the MAC lipstick in the shade Captive. That is what it looks like. It's super pretty so I can't wait to actually wear that one. Um, I haven't worn it yet so I'm super excited for that. And then I am like super super late to jump onto this but I bought my first Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've never owned one of these before um, I never really knew what shade to get so it was awesome to be able to um so I, say, I think they have these in Australia I'm pretty sure they do I've just never like gotten onto it but the shade that I got was medium brown and I love that these have a spoolie at the end um, I love any eyebrow like pen that has like a spoolie I think it's really cool um but yeah then I'll actually keep in with like the lip product category. Um, I've been wanting this colour for so long. This is a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick that I could never find it in stock and it is the shade Lolita. Um, this is like, I don't even know how to describe the shade. It's like brown, like a slight pinky shade but that is what it looks like. It's so pretty, so stunning. I'm so happy that I'm, I can finally own that. And then I got a couple of um, nude sticks lipstick crayon thingies. I've never tried these before. I don't know if they have these in Australia. Um, correct me if they do. Um, but oh, this is really cool. I didn't know that. The lid's a mirror. That's really, really cool. Um, so it's an intense matte color lip and cheek pencil. Oh, so you can use these on your cheek. Oh, no. It comes in like a duo. No, wait. Oh, that's a sharpener. That's really cool. I didn't know it came with this. I just thought it was like the, um, lip color in a tin but that's really cool it comes with a, a sharp enough for it um but i got the shade purity the purity is actually very similar to lolita kind of um that's what it looks like and that's what burgundy looks like it's a super pretty color um these are really pre pigmented and like really creamy they're like they're like a thick formula but it's like so creamy it just glides on so um i haven't applied them to my lips yet but when i draw like swatch them on my hands um that's kind of what sold me so yeah i thought it was really interesting to try those out um i bought these sephora sponges they're called the expert brand sponges and i was kind of just waiting in line you know how like when you're waiting in line like to go pay they have like all these like little things to tempt you i saw these and they were like mini beauty blenders type things but like the sephora brand and they're like an egg shape i was like they look kind of cool. I wouldn't mind trying these out. They have never seen these here, so thought I'd pick these up and try them out. So I'll let you guys know how they go. I wonder if I can wet them. I'm not even sure. But um, last couple things I bought from Sephora are some Tarte products. And the first one is the Pro Glow palette. This is what it looks like. So they've got like a cream contour shade and then a powder contour shade and then four highlighters. This actually smells like dairy milk chocolate. I just like opened it and I was like, what the? But it actually smells like a dairy milk chocolate bar, which is so interesting. But these are four highlighters. Maybe I should swatch them and just wipe my hand. So there's one, two, three, four. And that is what they look like. So they look super pigmented. Let me wipe these on my hand. That was like the worst swatch of my life. But that is what they look like all four. I probably could have um, wiped, swiped my hand a little bit better, but anywho, that is what that looks like. Super excited to try this out because I've seen so many people create looks with this. And then the final thing I got was 
This is probably what I'm most excited about, but this is the Tardis Pro palette. And this is an eyeshadow palette. And this as well has like that super sleek black and gold packaging. And that is what it looks like. How pretty is that? Like how stunning is that? Super, super pretty. There's like a lot of like plums and a few burgundy shades. Um, beautiful transition colors. All of these are matte, like all of these like here. This is really hard to hold. Oh, here we go. So all of these are matte and then there's like four shimmers on the side. Super pretty. I cannot wait. Even this smells really nice. That's so like weird. But all these brands are making amazing smelling products. So different, but I love that. And then after Sephora, I walked into Kiko. Um, they don't have Kiko stores here in Melbourne. Like they don't sell... Kiko here, it's only available. I actually thought it was only available in Europe, but it turns out it's available in the US. And I actually went in there for a specific product. Um, if you guys follow Sonia X Pfizer on Instagram, you guys would know. If you guys have been following her for a while, you guys would have known that she's like posted about this product before. But it's an eyeshadow, it's a water eyeshadow, um, but she uses it as a highlighter, and I've always wanted it, and they just never like had them here. Um, so when I saw that there was Kiko there, I was like, yep, I have to go in. Um, this is what it looks like, it's the shade 208, and if I just swatch it with my finger, that's what it looks like. And then, putting it on my arm, there it is. It's a super beautiful eyeshadow and whenever she'd use it as a highlight, it made like the most beautiful highlight. So I of course had to get it. I actually didn't just get one, I got two of them. So I've got two Kiko 208 water eyeshadows. And then I got another water eyeshadow. This is the shade 200 and this one's really pretty as well. This is a little bit more of like a beige shade, but that's what it looks like. It looks super pretty as well. I feel like I'd use these as highlighters more anyway. So that's that one. And I've just applied that here next to the 208 and it's so pretty it's so stunning um, I've never tried any Kiko products so I was thinking of maybe doing like a first impressions on Kiko and like seeing how they go and stuff like that and then I bought a high pigment wet and dry eyeshadow this is the shade 40 that's what it looks like I feel like this would make a really pretty lid color they're actually really pigmented really smooth and really creamy for um, affordable eyeshadows and stuff so that's what it looks like it's right here and then i bought a bright duo baked eyeshadow and this is the shade 20 and then i'll just get those two on my finger and i'll just swatch them here okay i feel like i'm not going to swatch properly because i've got the um, hourglass primer on my hand but they're too, they're here. This is a really hydrating primer. And then I bought this Less Is Better Fluid Highlighter. The lady was in the store was telling me about this and pretty much sold me onto it. Um, I got the shade 02 Mild Golden Sand. And this is just like a highlighter you can either apply on top of your foundation or under it. So this is what it looks like when you like first put it on your, your arm. It looks like a... Um, foundation shade but as you gradually like blend it in it kind of melts away so I feel like this would be really nice to apply um like mixed in with your foundation the last two products I got were um two matte lipsticks like liquid lipsticks the first shade is 04 and that's what it looks like super pretty right Really, really like that. Like it just dries matte. And then the second shade is 02 Sensitive Beige. Um, and this one's a little bit lighter. This one's more of like a nude. This one's super pretty. It kind of reminds me of Sports Girl Sandstorm, except I think Sandstorm's a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, they smell really sweet. Like they're really nice. So that is what they look like. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I got from my trip in LA. And honestly, it was the most amazing trip ever and thank you so much to the brands that I met and worked with and were kind enough to give me products. It was so kind of you and I really did not expect it. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. So thank you guys so much for the experience. I will never forget it and it was the best time of my life. And obviously, thank you for, to Sephora for existing because no matter how much makeup I have, I always have to go in and buy more stuff. So yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see more in depth in, I can't talk today. If there is anything you want to see a more in depth video on or you want to see in like a first impressions or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye guys.